Welcome ladies and gents, we've got our first official look at Tron Ares, the film with Jared Leto that is yeah, putting a lot of people off, I, I know, I get it. Um, still don't really know if this is a follow-up to Tron Legacy or not. Arguably, Disney's last great film. Maybe some others in there, but yeah, Tron Ares, a movie which has languished in development hell for God knows how long. We got our first tease of the colour palette. With respect to a behind the scenes, you know, a, a set chair. Uh, it was red, neon, and now we've got our first image. It's very in keeping with Tron Legacy. Um, so here you have it. Well, scroll down. Here, here you have it. So it's in keeping with the image of the of the set, the neon red. The outfit is in keeping with Tron Legacy. I'm gonna say it is a sequel. I guess loosely connected. Is probably the best way to put it. Um, the aesthetics are still the same at the very least. So it would be odd if it wasn't a sequel. Right? I think we can probably agree on that. Uh, and it's Jared Leto that shared this. Ugh. Yep. Jared Leto. Uh, we had the director, Joaquin Roning, says I'm... Excited to be part of the Tron franchise and bring this new film to fans around the world. Tron Ares builds upon the legacy of cutting-edge design, technology, and storytelling, apparently. Cool. Tron Ares follows a highly sophisticated program, Ares, who is sent from the digital world into the real world on a dangerous mission, marking mankind's first encounter with AI beings. So... Is it then? Mankind's encounter with AI beings? I mean, man mankind, a man, two men, have already encountered the AI beings. Hmm. They are, I mean, hmm. They do say here it's been marketed as follow-up. I think it's probably going to be some weird relaunch. I mean, look. Tron Legacy arguably has one of the best soundtracks of all time committed to film. Daft Punk did such an incredible job with that. This film will not top it. This film will not be great, unfortunately. And it's not necessarily its fault. It just didn't... I don't think there's a hunger there. I think this will probably flop as well. And, and Jared Leto... I, I, I don't like Jared Leto... I know a lot of other people don't like Jared Leto. How do I know that? And I can say it with confidence because all of his movies are bombed. Uh, so, yeah. They keep trying to make him a thing. And also, the other concern here is that this has languished in development hell. The individual directing it now is a uh, sort of a mainstay at Disney. He's done a lot of Disney work. So he's a malleable director, someone that Disney can mould, um, which isn't great, quite frankly. That's not good. You know, he did Maleficent, Pirates of the Caribbean. He also recently did The Young Woman in the Sea, which is a Daisy Ridley feature film. Looking like it's probably going to release next year. I like, I like the colour palette. You know, Ares will be played by Jared Leto, so he is the programme. We still don't know if anyone's coming back. Jeff Bridges hasn't made comment on it. Yeah, what are the comments? Let's have a look, see what people are saying. Because obviously people that follow him will be all, all ears, they'll be loving it. Um, but the general vibe's not great on this. Who's doing the music though? Yeah, that's true. They um, they split up, didn't they? I really like Tron Legacy. I watch it every few years, right? I watch Tron Legacy every few years. And it, it's a great film. <laughs> it really holds up. It really does. I mean, this shot again, it was a really solid film. The, feed, the feedback's not great, you know? I mean, people are pretty happy about it, but there's not a lot. I, I love this in Tron Legacy, the toys. How amazing was that? So good to see. I don't know. I don't know how this is going to go. I think someone forgot the brand name. Oh. 
Oh, that's true. Yeah, there's a brand name on it. That's not great. <laughs> Interesting. Yeah, feedback's... I mean... I would have thought feedback would be better than this, based on the people that follow him. This is where Cora, played by Olivia Wilde. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I honestly don't know. I don't want to scroll too much on uh, Twitter because there can be some uh, unfortunate things on Twitter. It's not been seen by a lot of people. Uh, it's not really got out there that much. Some people like it, some people don't. I I don't know. I mean, he's holding. You can see he's... he's oh, it's not a disc. It's a triangular one. I know that sounds a bit stupid, but that is a triangular. That's a straight edge. Huh. So maybe he's a sophisticated program because... Call and, and 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 the triangular thing denotes the sophistication. So there's a design element that's interesting, I guess. The um, straight edge there. So yeah, triangular rather than a disc. That's weird, isn't it? What a weird thing to change for like why? Why would you change that? That's that's silly. I hope. I hope we do get some circles in there as well, some discs. Uh, but yeah, anyway, not much else to say on this. Not hugely excited. I think the red neon colour is an interesting change um, based on the last one. Because the last one, I mean, even in some of this stuff, you can see it. Uh, it was sort of orange. Well, it was orange, wasn't it, actually? Uh, with the evil guys. Orange and red. So, what does that mean then? Interesting design choice. I quite like the cleaner look of the the uh, the other color palette. But now my neon get some sort of retro synth wave in there. Maybe a bit of Daniel Deluxe. That'd be great. He'd he'd do a good soundtrack. <sighs> what do you guys think? Are you looking forward to this or not? First look at Tron Aries. Yeah, Jared Leto. No. Let me know what you think down below. I'm not massively enamoured with this. I haven't been. Um, you've got Jodie Turner-Smith, the model-turned-actress. Stop letting these people turn into actors. They they can't act as a rule. Uh, she's supposedly playing a very strong female character, of course, in this that's going to go after Tron Ares. So he goes into the real world, and then there's an army that goes after him, was uh, what I had heard. So anyway, what do you think? Thoughts? Bye now.